Hey y'all, welcome to the vlog. Today is Tuesday, April 30th, and I am three days away from graduation. It honestly has not hit me yet, and I don't think it's going to for a very long time. Like, even after graduation, I'm gonna just be like, oh, I'm going back to school. But really, that's not the case. Um, I haven't really started packing. I've started, like, purging my stuff because I need to get rid of, like, half of my life because I just have so many clothes and just so much random shit. So I've given a lot to Play-Dohs. I went to both Play-Dohs and I got $50 from each. And then um, I need to put some stuff at Goodwill and then I also need to sell like a lot of home decor to other sisters that are gonna be living in the sorority house next year. So I need to do that today and I'm also gonna get boxes after this and start actually packing, which is gonna be so sad. My roommate Tiffany already started taking off her decor off the walls and everything and it looks so depressing like we both woke up and we we're like where are we like it just it's sad you know I wanted to wait as long as I could because I know I would just feel like more depressed if I was in an empty room that looked like a jail cell so I'm trying to wait but I also need to like sell most of my stuff so I need to like see what I need to sell if that makes sense it's currently 10 a.m. I had a grad shoot this morning and I have two later on tonight so I'm really excited because I've been getting like a lot of people booking me more than I ever have before I feel really honored when people pick me and like choose my work over other people um, but actually right now I'm gonna head into spa bar because I'm getting my last facial here Unfortunately, I'm moving away from Orlando, so I'm gonna have to find someone else to do my eyebrows, to do my facials, like, literally everything. Like, I'm gonna have to find new places, and that shit just takes so much time. Like, you kind of, like, test out different places, and it just, uh, I just wish I could just take all my people, like, wherever I go. My friends actually got me a spa bar gift card for my birthday in November, and I'm just now using it. So, shout out to my friends, because they're just so thoughtful, and that's really smart. Like, obviously, I love facials, and I'm using it today. I got so dark because literally for all these grad shoots, I'm just out in the sun for like four, no, more than four hours because each shoot is like an hour and a half and sometimes I have four a day. So yeah, I'm getting really dark, but I kind of like it, kind of embracing it. Um, it's very different for me because usually I'm kind of pale. I just got out of my facial. I did a microderm abrasion. I get so excited when estheticians say my skin is good because then I really know it's good. Um, she just asked me if I have been in the sun a lot and I was like, mm, yeah. And she was like, do you put on sunscreen? I was like, mm, no. <laughs> so I need to be doing that because I literally bought the Super Goop sunscreen from Sephora and it's not like white or anything. It's like really good like, um, like silicone kind of primer sunscreen kind of thing um and i need to start wearing that but i always forget so i need to do that tonight and tomorrow and the next day um but i'm at walmart right now and i'm gonna get boxes i really don't want to do this because then this just means it's like closer to actually moving out but you know there's just some things in life you just gotta do So she's gonna be the first one that takes it off the wall. I, go ahead, Hannah. You, oh you go, girl. You this? It's a, it's a sentimental moment. Oh my gosh. I came in here, contacted the buyer. I know you did. <laughs> she literally goes, you know who texted me? Me. I go, me. You? <laughs> me. I go, really? I go, oh god. I go, not that girl. Have fun with those things. Oh, thank you. They're gonna go great in my room. Amazing. Okay. Oh, it's I'll getting just I'll be depressing. and we have decided to go on the UCF rock climbing wall. Have you done it before? No. Okay, this I've never done it. This will be my first it. and last time. Yeah. There, we have like a whole senior bucket list and this was definitely one of the things that were on it. 
So we're finally doing it. We're taking line bikes over to the gym because I've just been out so much in this hot, hot sun that I just can't deal with any more time. Everyone's moving out. So sad. <laughs> then there's Charlotte just trying to get a line bike. <laughs> Try that one over there. I'm gonna forget my shit try, in that try. One. Oh, do you type it in? Yeah. It yeah, I haven't done me. this in a while. Yeah, the scanning never works. That's probably why. Like p.m. and I had a couple of grad shoots later this afternoon um, but I'm done now I have two more to go for the whole season which I'm really excited about just because like I don't know it gets kind of repetitive honestly and I'm just sick of being in the sun because I'm getting so freaking dark and like I think I'm getting a sunburn but we're getting ready because we're going out for the last time ever mm -hmm. it's so sad Not the last time ever but well yeah you get what I mean <laughs> the last time of our college our undergrad, yeah. Not that I'm going to graduate no, school, but there. <laughs> but we are going out. We're gonna go to pub. We're probably gonna go to lib, and it's gonna get crazy tonight. And it'll be fun. And I'm excited. We are ready. We're going out for our last time ever. So sad. Megan's not even phased. I'm so sad. I literally shed a tear on the way here. I just <laughs> Diego actually saw it. It's T-shirt oh. Tuesday, y'all. We're all in our T-shirts except for Tiff. She is this her. really a thing? No, Snelly's no, making, Snelly, making this whole thing up. I literally said T-shirt Tuesday like 500 times. Yeah, yeah I know, but it's not like you said it. No, we're not saying it. It's the muscle tea. <laughs> the muscle tea, gotta show them gains, you know? Alright, we're going to live. Pub, live, whatever. whatever. Wherever life takes us, you know? Last night out. T-shirt Tuesday. The last night. Wednesday guys mm. we are officially <laughs> officially packing and yeah it's kind of crazy up in here it's depressing and we have like one of the biggest rooms so like god bless everyone else I don't know how they're doing it yeah like we still can barely walk yeah but barely <laughs> um I am starting to pull the stuff out from my bathroom get all my makeup stuff out kind of just get the ball rolling. I have like about like an hour before a grad shoot, so I'm trying to get as much as I can get done today. So this is the situation we have right now. Everything's, I mean, the walls are really empty, but everything's like on the ground, which is horrible. You can barely walk anywhere. And then I actually just pulled out everything from my drawer in the bathroom. It's all out on the counter, what I want to keep for like 
the month of May because, I don't know, it's, it's, it's complicated. I'm pretty much going to be living out of my car in a suitcase for the month of May. So this is probably what I want to take for that. And then I just put like all the other stuff in this plastic bag. And then, yeah, it's just a crazy mess. This is my shelf right here. So I still have like a lot of other stuff to go through. And then that's trash. So we shall see. So all my sweet mates and my roommate is gone so I thought I would take the moment to kind of give you like an update on my life and like where I'm at right now. Um, basically I'm obviously so stressed. This past month has been really really stressful because I should probably just take these out. My AirPods always fall out of my ears so that's why I'm always like adjusting them to put them back in. I don't know why but I think I just have like really small ears which is not normal but whatever. So like I was saying, this month has been really stressful because I've had so many graduation shoots, which is so amazing. Like I have never booked this many people before in my life and it makes me so excited that people look at my work and want to book me. Like that just makes me feel obviously so good and um, so that's been happening. Um, I have up to four shoots a day. So I start at 7.30 and then I have a slot open at 9.30 and then one at 4 p.m. and then another one at 6 p.m. Not that I've been booked every single slot, like every single day, but I mean there's a couple days that I had like all four slots booked. So that is so exhausting and as you can tell I'm super dark because I've been out in the sun for more than four hours a day. My body is hating me right now but I know it's going to be worth it and it's just so fun taking pictures of people and just being a part of like their big day. Like graduation pictures are like a big thing like that's when you announce you're graduating and stuff. So another thing that I've been really busy with this past month is doing the recruitment video for my chapter for the last time ever. It was definitely bittersweet I won't lie. Um, because I feel like last year I put all my eggs in one basket and like I cranked out like my best video ideas ever and because I didn't know I was going to be doing it another year um, and then I ended up doing it another year I was like shit like what do I do differently for this video but I think I I think I did pretty good um, and I had a little recruitment viewing party literally the other day and everyone loved it so I'm really excited about that because that's off my shoulders and that was a very big project that I was like Sonali you have to get done before you leave from college because obviously if I needed a clip of my sisters I couldn't get it after I left so so that's checked off my list of things to do. Um, other things, I ended my job with UCF and ZUP. So that was really sad because, I mean, I've been with, well, I've worked with UCF for quite a while. I don't know if I started my junior year or sophomore year, kind of like collaborating with them on videos. And then I became an intern for them my senior year. Um, and then ZUP, I just started working with just this past semester, but I mean, it's such a fun job. I've been so blessed to have jobs that are not only fun, but like I am able to work with fun people. So I am officially unemployed for now. Well, technically like self-employed because I'm freelancing still. I've actually been wanting to announce like where I'm going to end up after college and kind of do like a more in-depth life update. And Ryan actually came to visit um, early April and we filmed a whole video. And I even vlogged that weekend and everything and we were doing so many fun things and it was like my last like weekend to do fun things in Orlando and guess what the SD card like I don't know what happened but the files were just like like saying they had zero gigabytes or like kilobytes I don't know and they just like wouldn't open it was just like the image of like the QuickTime button anyways so yeah that's all gone. So I guess we're all just gonna have to wait because I definitely want to film it with Ryan since I won't give it away But anyways, so the stress has not been relieved as you can tell by my messy ass room um, This is probably like the most stressful move I've ever done I've always moved myself out and in of places the only time I had help with when I moved into college my freshman year for summer B my mom helped me but other than that, like, usually I do it on my own. And, like, honestly, it's really not that bad because, like, I feel like if you do it yourself, you know where you're going to put your stuff, if that makes sense. Like, if my mom came and helped, I may not have been able to find things when I, like, unpacked it. Um, so I feel like it's just better to do it yourself because, like, in my mind, I only have half of a room and, like, 
how much stuff realistically can I fit in this half room? So I feel like I don't have that much stuff, but it looks like I have like so much stuff. I mean, compared to like if I had a house or if I had an apartment and like got furniture for it, that would have been worse. Um, Cause I bet in the marquee I had probably way more stuff. Like freshman and sophomore year, I lived off campus in an apartment and it was a pretty big room and a big giant closet. So I just like stuffed everything in there. Um, but I have definitely purged a lot of my stuff, got, gave it to Plato's Closet. Um, I'm gonna give some stuff to Goodwill. And I don't know, just most of the stuff, it's just hard because like I said, I'm gonna be living out of my car or a suitcase for like the month of May. So I don't know what I'm gonna need for like a whole month, especially clothes wise. So we will see about that. But that's pretty much where I'm at right now. Um, tonight I have my last two grad shoots. I'm really excited to kind of just be done with grad shoot season just because like I said, my body is kind of hating me right now. But also I know like once it's done, I'm gonna be like, oh my God, I wanna shoot more photos of people and I, want, I will wanna get into it more. So I don't know, bittersweet. But I'm gonna get back to cleaning and packing because I have like 30 minutes more until my next shoot.